What's up guys, Nick Rapazzi here and welcome to the Paradise C6 YouTube channel. So today we're going to be working on the Bronco. I want to set the final setup for the hinge setup on this. Um, I did end up panel bonding some of these brackets on just to give this more rigidity and uh, connect the two pieces. It, it did do it here and we have them screwed in together in the back here. But I want to have the hinge set up so this thing can flip forward like uh, it's supposed to. It's supposed to have um, two, two um, like latches on here to hold it tight. I do have to adjust these and move these because when I did end up mounting them, I mounted them on the inside. But what, what's happening is that it's pulling in. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it, because it's pulling in, it's making this curve up higher than this body line. And I don't like the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to readjust these, probably get mounting points on here, and I'm going to use these L brackets. So they'll get mounted inside and we'll have a two rivets on the top just to give it some strength. And then you won't see anything else besides the two rivets, which I'm okay with. I tried to do this as best as I could to keep everything so where you can't see it, but um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bolt on kit. So we're gonna just do rivets, replace all these. I did get the rivet gun in while I was gone. And um, I'll show you the hardware that we're using for the actual latch system. So I bought these, um, they're basically fencing um, hinges and they're three quarter bolts that I'm gonna go right in here through the frame, put the hinges on and then mount everything up in here. I did put these plates in and I'm gonna like tie everything in together so it's got like just mounting plates uh, everywhere. So I'm gonna get that in. And then one last thing that I did get to as well is uh, this three quarter square tubing. And what I'm gonna use this for is to attach the uh, radiator, radiator support to the actual body itself because right now this is just, it's just loose and I just don't want the radiator pushing into the fan or anything like that. And yeah, so that's hopefully uh, where we're gonna get done today. I'll, uh, I'll walk you through as I get stuff done and time lapse as I go. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to get this thing uh, all mounted up. So let's get to it. All right guys, so we got everything drilled out and these are in basically permanently. You can still unscrew them if you want. Uh, what I did is I did a quarter inch uh, drill bit, then I did a half inch and then a three quarters because the, the bolt's actually a three quarter bolt. So both are in. I did want to bring it through both uh sections of the frame but the bolt and hinge isn't long enough to actually meet the top and the way i have these in now with a uh, a little bit of a bend on them they perfectly meet up with the top of the roof right there so that they'll actually hinge properly so that's kind of where we're going to be going with these and uh, how they're going to be sitting i'm going to do the same thing as i did before with these i'm going to um get a better bend out of these and then I'll panel bond it and then once everything's panel bonded where I want it we're going to fiberglass everything but right now we are on to getting these corners mounted up and what I bought were these like angle angle pieces and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get wherever they fit best up in here and uh, get some bends on them even though you guys can see it yeah so they're gonna basically sit up in there just like this and then we're gonna drill them right into the body and then put some rivets in the top and then we'll be top mounted and these won't be going anywhere. So it's basically the best I can come up with. Again, I tried to do these so it was uh, seamless and flawless but it's just not gonna work out that way. So let's get these on, um, see where everything uh, falls and then we'll get the panel bond and get the hood uh, all mounted up on here. So. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So we have the single mounting points and the, the bolt's going right through here and it's mounting up right inside there. I do want to put a second one in here, but I did put this on. It's the basically this. These are going to be the hood latches now holding everything in place just so I can keep everything lined up. And I don't want anything to move right now because I have the panel bond. It's the M3 panel bond. This stuff right here. Um, I ordered this stuff off of Amazon. If you guys want the link or anything like that, just comment below and I'll give you the link where I got this from. It was like, I want to say it was like $130 for 
No, maybe a little cheaper. I don't remember the exact price, but it was pretty expensive for that and the actual applicator because you can't just use a normal like caulk gun for it. So I have that on both of these. And then uh, once these are dry, which I'm probably going to leave these overnight, and then I'm going to put a cross brace here and then connect these to here and connect these down to like over in that corner as well so I can build the bracketry for the... Um, the headlight uh, assembly and basically this is one of the pieces but uh, I'm gonna go buy thicker stuff because I was gonna use this and it's not thick enough um, but to give you an idea of what I'm gonna use to build the bracketry for this so it's gonna be one inch by a quarter steel and uh, I'm gonna mount that off of this so it's all one piece and it's gonna come across and then I'll be able to bolt the headlights to it and then I bought adapters for all these plugs so this way i'll have an adapter that adapts this to the newer style and same thing with all the running lights and all that stuff so everything will be adapted to the new headlights once it's up and going but um i guess uh what i got next to do is just try to uh figure out exactly the lengths on all the bracketry because i can't really touch any of this stuff right now while it's drying uh i just don't want anything to move so i'm gonna get a couple measurements uh clean up and then uh that's kind of gonna be it for today it kind of sucks it's gonna rain the next couple days so i won't be able to get much done on these but uh if i have any time i'll build the bracketry and get it ready because i do want to get this thing to paint by next week and um i might actually uh start doing the the rust removal kind of stuff so it's this acid etching stuff so i might spray that on this today too so We'll see where we get. Let me uh, let me clean up and move things around and get uh, started on some other stuff. All right, guys. As you can see, I got white shit all over me. I got fiberglass everywhere. So I've been working on these tail lights and getting them in. And this side, I cut a little bit out and it fit right in. And everything's fitting up perfect. And all the body lines, I did cut a little bit on the outside. So I'm gonna have to fix that right there. But this side has been perfect. Coming over here, it's been nothing but. A nightmare of not fitting in right and it's almost like there's a little bit too much fiberglass right here so I've been trimming this out so the top of the headlight can set back in and try to get the bottom in because that's the only part I can actually see it actually touching everywhere else under here is not touching and the headlights straight as, a, as it can be but I'm getting this weird gap at the bottom so I'm just trying to fit everything I'm gonna have to fiberglass in a little bit of the holes that are there and up in this corner right here but uh yeah hopefully this um little bit will actually get like get out of the way so i'm thinking my next plan of action is to cut inside of here just so this can set in a little bit more and hopefully that'll bring in the bottom because right now i'm just wobbling between this corner and this corner and this line right here so i'm gonna work on this a little bit more i'm running out of daylight so I probably got another like 10 15 minutes on this and then i'll check in with you guys with everything that i've done so far today and hopefully that'll dry by tomorrow and if we have a nice day we can get all the mounting stuff done and then we'll be ready for paint and lights so let me get to this and i'll check in with you guys in a little bit all right guys so i ended up trimming this inside part of the light just to get this to push back enough and that gave me the push back in the inside right here to get this light flush but i'm still gonna have to fill in these holes that made the light sit back up top um i'll do that when i do the fiberglass on the front the um this one was just fine this one needed no trimming the fiberglass was just a lot better formed here but that's i was a hot mess it sucked but uh let me show you the door gaps on on here this is a it's kind of bigger than I actually wanted it to be but it's kind of the only way it's gonna work is when these doors pull in it, it pulls in and it's almost it, like I have it to where it's barely touching and again it's because this is fiberglass is never gonna be perfect this is sitting a little bit lower than uh, I want it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some angle under this just so it gives it that lift so it's level with this here that's what this was doing but it's kind of sitting forward because I wanted to get the gaps, have everything mounted up to where it's supposed to be, and then I'm probably gonna get um, like garage door seal right here and fill in this gap so it's just a black seal that's gonna go in between here and then I'll have this supported so under here will actually 
sit flush and not look like a, an inch gap all the way across because once it's up it in the center it sits flush across the whole thing here and then these are partially dry I did put some weight on the top just to help hold down it a little bit but like once this stuff dries it's like pretty much permanent and it's hard to the touch almost but I'm gonna leave it overnight and then we are gonna fiberglass over this connect all this so it's all sturdy and then we will have a hood that flips forward so I'm super excited this thing's coming along and then um, again headlights and mounting the grill and then the inner fenders I did show you guys the tube that I'm gonna use that's gonna go from right there that um, old hood latch that was there i'm gonna go right from that hood latch right to the front of that there just so the radiator support is sturdy and held up and then i was looking at what is here for like the accessories and i think what i'm gonna do is get some sheet metal and build like a sheet metal box just to put all this stuff here and just eliminate this fender altogether because realistically i don't really need it there and if i want to block it off uh stuff from hitting the engine and stuff i'll uh I'll build some sort of shield there but for now i think i'm going to get rid of this just because it's sitting so low and trying to push it up and get it out of the way it's not really going to work for me so yeah that's where we're at so far super excited how this thing's coming and i can't wait to paint it and get all the lights and actually be able to drive it again so yeah that's it for today um i'll probably check in with you guys on I think Thursday's the next day that's not going to be raining out. So, but if it's not raining tomorrow, then I'll definitely be out here working on this, trying to get this thing done. So, all right, I will talk to y'all later. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please smash the subscribe button. Please give this video a big thumbs up, and I will talk to y'all later. Peace.